That's it, killer dude. Don't be doing that. Come on, David. Don't be doing what? Okay. Kick it. Stop it. What? Think about hooking up okay, one of my systems. Don't try and pull the CIA and get everybody to think it. Dude. 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 Kick yourself, dude, or I'll kick you in the nuts until your nuts are just like in your fucking throat, dude. Nice Quit flag. kicking Antonio. Last warning. You do it again? Uh, turn it off now. For the, For the night. I'm not feeling well. I'm Me not going to listen That's to why this. I'm not going back there. No, we're not even going to talk about this. Turn this off right now. You're not going to sit there. I played for Target. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. When? Yesterday. Oh, please. You didn't even have all your information. Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah. In my drawer. What's in your drawer? Everything. Oh. Turn your headset off. Next to her vibrator. Because, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you want, bro. Just give her a vibrator. Don't turn it off. Leave it on or you're done. Just ask her if she needs a couple of double A's for the vibrant. Yes, you are going back to work tomorrow. How'd you do today? Were you productive? I was so freaking annoyed. I was about to leave when I fucking got there. Because this fucking guy keeps Okay, on... you don't have to yell, raise your voice when you have a conversation. Just tell her you were constipated. <laughs> <laughs> you ate too much government cheese. <laughs> Our slave camp number 105. Jail cells working. So the headset's not off. Yeah, it is. Okay, why do you want to portray yourself like that? What are you talking about? Why don't you just put? <laughs> huh? Tell her to buy you some my What are you talking about? <laughs> you look like you're naked or something. It's me right now. Yeah, I see that. Why don't you put a shirt on? Nobody wants to see the hairs growing out of your armpits or anything like that. <laughs> Anyways, Tanner, I'm going to bed and I don't feel well, so I need you to be really quiet. God damn, get the fucking water. Can you really portray yourself like that? Championship. What? What are you talking about? Why the about? hell do you do shit like that? Do what? What you just did. Because she didn't react to you. Well, it's not a good reaction. Tell your mom, like, sell her underwear to the Japanese, bro. You <laughs> <laughs> might buy more double A's for her vanilla ice cream. <laughs> Why? <laughs> hey, Antonio, she doesn't it? feel good, bro. She's on her period. No. I ain't even kick him. Man, yeah, I can't wait to buy that Game Boy Advance fucking player for the GameCube. How much is it? Yeah. It's pretty expensive. It's probably about 70 bucks together. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's. I think that's. I paid about like I think 60 for mine. Might be a little bit more than that now, but like 80 or something. Yeah, I bought mine. Like I can actually go look ago. it up. They recommend that you buy them the things for it separately, like the disc and then the thing. Oh, so it's not uh, even with the disc then? Well, I mean, you could get it with the disc. And it'll be like 90 or something. I don't know. Hold on. Let me look for that. Just watching this Russian guy stream some cool game for Super Nintendo. It's like trash. Thing. Let's see here. Change it. Nintendo GameCube with advanced player. It's not a bad thing to look for. But I don't know, it looks kinda of shitty. Yeah, I don't trust it. Too cool. All right. <laughs> so cool. yeah. Game Boy Player Silver. 
GameCube, GB, GBA, GBC tested. 25 bucks for just the thing by itself. I don't know. That seems like a pretty good deal. And then you can go buy the disc. For like... Wow, Nintendo. GameCube complete with Game Boy Advance player plus two GBA games. Mortal Kombat, Deadly Alliance, and Road Rash for the GBA. Oh. Looks like it's even got a GameCube controller. That game is really fun on the GBA. Yeah, I mean, Road Rash is probably pretty decent too. Yeah, I mean, it's probably trash, but good. I mean, for a GBA game, it's just another thing to have, you know, another game, and it's not one of those games that you see that's like everywhere, you know. I don't, I didn't even know Road Rash was for GBA, so. And Mortal Kombat, uh, Mortal Kombat Alliance, yeah, that's that's cool. I'd, I'd get that if it was for a good price. Yeah, man, that's that's not bad, dude. I guess when you think about it, it comes with the thing. But I don't know if it comes with a disc, though. Probably not. Because I need that Game Boy Player disc. Yeah, man. I think later on in the future, like a year from now, I'll probably go back and buy some Everdrives or something. You got any of those Equinox or no? Nah. Shit, man, it's cool though that you can get every game <laughs> and just like play it with it. Yeah, but then it's like, you can get every game on the computer though. It's just yeah, like true. somewhere, it's like in the middle of like, it's so in the middle of, you know, either doing it for real or playing on emulator. Yeah, and that's like in the middle, and it costs a hundred dollars. That's why I haven't really gotten it yet because I don't really care enough about it because of that, you know. Yeah. But I mean, just to have it, you know, I think I would. It's just a cool get it idea, anyway. but I just don't see like myself ever using it because if I was gonna do it, I'd just do it on my computer. But and if I were gonna do it on a TV, I'd just use the actual cartridge. So. Yeah. I, I don't know. And it just makes it like, oh, uh, why even collect the game? You can just play it like that. Yeah, it's like. If you're gonna play on the TV and you, on the hardware, why buy a cartridge? You know, to emulate it. Yeah, but the cool thing is, like, on an EverDrive, you can make a GoldenEye X game. I can play it on an actual 64. Oh yeah, so kinda, okay, there's that. That's kind of yeah. cool. Right. You know, that's like, a you reason. Could, you, could, you could use homebrews on the actual console. You know, like that is kind of cool. But where the fuck are you gonna find homebrew games? You know, like I mean, there's like a few out there, but that shit, there's not that many. I wouldn't yeah. think. That are even I don't worth know though, playing. I could be wrong. Yeah, that are even worth playing at least. I don't really play homebrew games. I played some modded versions of, like Pokemon, that's like it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, like, I would think if there yeah. was anything worth playing, it, you know, it, there would be videos of it on YouTube. It seems like the only ones that, you know, that are famous are ones that like, kind of like Mega Man clones, but not quite as good. Yeah. They don't even scroll. Like the screen doesn't even scroll. It just goes screen to screen. Yeah, man, I can't wait. I'm not going to start spending money like on this right here, though. I'm not going to get that GameCube thing for probably. It's because that shit's expensive, man. Yeah. That kind of coin on it just yet, I could wait. It's kind of worth it, though. Oh, it is. 
I mean, it is, I don't need to get it right now. Just get it three or four months away or something. Hopefully it doesn't go up, you know. Yeah. That would really suck. It doesn't sound like it's gone up that much since I got it. Exactly, yeah. Here, so it That's why I'm just waiting on it. There's still a shit ton of PS1 games I want to get. Yeah. I'm Final starting Fantasy to make a list. Final Fantasy 7 and stuff like that. Wow, you don't have that? No, I don't, man. I only have Final Fantasy 9 for PS1. I think that's the only Final Fantasy game that I own. It would be cool to get, you know, like collectible shit. Like when I start making money, I'm going to get I'm going to I want to start getting like a few collectible things just here and there. Now, I'm not going to go crazy, but like get golden eye sealed or something like that. I think that would be cool. Dude, that would be it. cool. Because Man, that would be crazy. Yeah, Sikula was looking Should it up. That, how much is that? Like, oh, it's like only like 200 bucks. It's not that bad. Yeah, for sealed Goldeneye? Is it like officially sealed or did someone seal it back up? Nah, you like, can, it, it's it's officially sealed factory. Like it's still new. Yeah, wow. you, you, yeah you can tell crazy. because it'll have the crease in the on the back, on the, on the back face of it. It won't have that shrink wrap bullshit. Man, yeah. Personally, I don't care enough for Goldeneye. To, I mean, I love Goldeneye, but yeah, I would yeah. never... Probably spent two hundred dollars on it. Just I couldn't. Yeah. But I mean, that's not a bad deal, you know, because you know that that thing is gonna be worth way more. And like five years from now, it's probably gonna be like five hundred then, you know. Yeah. Because but I just I want to have on, it just man, to have it. be harder and harder. Yeah. I, that's why I would probably get it too. Like if I was rich, man, yeah, I'd probably get. That. I don't have money for that, so it's hard. That might be something if it's still kind of like around that price later on, then that might, I might actually get that too. What about Ocarina of Time still? Nah. No? I mean, Damn, yeah, it, I I mean that's right there at the level of Goldeneye, though. Man. I know. But I just feel Goldeneye is something we still play today, and yeah, I just. Yeah. Feel like, uh, uh, We're more of like first-person shooter people, anyway. Yeah, yeah. I just, yeah, I just think Goldeneye was just awesome, man. Like, it was a great multiplayer game back in the day. You know, it was. All, you know, it was. I love it to this day. I like the music and everything yeah. that made that game. It just. Yeah, man. There's a once in a lifetime kind of thing, and Goldeneye and Ocarina of Time are both kind of like that. The only game that I have that's still sealed to this day, that I guess you could consider kind of old, would be Street Fighter Alpha 3 for the Dreamcast. That's it. Do you have any sealed games, Equinox? Yeah. Um, like that have never been opened? Yeah. Um, I bought... What you got? Nothing great, though. I, I got... The only one I have really is um, Star Tropics 2, Zelda's Revenge. I bought it. I bought it for $40, you know, off Amazon. I bought it just to buy it, just to have a, a sealed Nintendo game. Because to me, yeah. it's well, not Star even Tropics the game. Star Tropics is pretty good. It, it's know? not even the game. I, I, I've never played it before. I don't even really have interest but in it. But you just it. know what it is. You, yeah, I just love it. And you know it's popular and shit that some people need. It, nah, it, it, because I, I don't think it's a popular game, but it, that's why it's so cheap. I've heard it. But um, with Star Tropics 1, but I, I, nobody knew about Star Tropics 2. It's just that I yeah, love I Nintendo. I love 8-bit Nintendo, and I just want to have a sealed 8-bit Nintendo game. Yeah, was, uh, yeah I want to get one of those actually, I, man. A while back, like, yeah, 10 years back when I was collecting, I got um, right there, a game for the power pad that was sealed, and it was only 16 bucks. And it was so amazing to open that. Just the smell, wow. the smell, and, like, the touch of it, like, the dry plastic, like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got... I couldn't Who's Ricardo? I got so into it, dude. Yeah. I know that smell, man. That's... To open an 8 bit oh, Nintendo man. game, like, you know, when I was like 25, is just like, they're so awesome. Because I loved Nintendo so much when I was a kid. Yeah. Me too, man. My coolest part of my childhood and getting video games was like when my mom got me a Game Boy Color. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Like, that was like the coolest thing to me. Yeah, that was like the first ever. You gotta Nintendo. understand, man, when, it, when that came out, I was so young. I was like in second grade or something. Yeah, yeah, a lot of kids yeah, had that. Or I, I was, was like, four, nah. Six or seven? Yeah, you must have been like six or something, Antonio. I was in like second oh, really? grade, dude. 
When did it come out? Like 96? Uh, 98? Yeah, dude. You were like a fucking four year old or something, Antonio. You weren't no sick. What year were you where year were you born? 94. Oh dude, you were like three. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, you were like three when that came out, dude. I was in second grade. And Tony he was born was like in 94, still, though, right? He was zero. Yeah. 98 90. came out, so I was four. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're like four. I'm in like second grade, oh. you know? Oh, shit. Who's crazy? This and, is like uh, the whole possession right here. The fucking Game Boy Color. That was the same exact one that I had growing up. This is my prize possession right here. I still have my 1989 I, brick Game Boy. Get a complete in box with everything, even the headphones. What do you mean British? Huh? You say Brit? Um, not nah, the brick. The brick game, oh, the original brick. Game Boy is just like a. Brick. Oh, the big clunky one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That box. Yeah, My it's brother like had one of those. Yeah. <laughs> My brother had one of those when he was like two or something. Oh sure. And okay. I was just born, and I didn't. Right now, I was two, and he was four. Yeah. Oh, the Star Wars. I, I don't remember even remember it though. I don't remember playing on that big Game Boy. I think so I probably old. did, but I was like two years old, so you know you don't really remember shit when you're two. But that's how long I've been playing video games, pretty much, man, since I was two. Because I had an older brother, and I, when he would play, I guess I would cry as a baby because I wanted to touch the controller or something. <laughs> that's that's, that's, how, all, that's yeah. how all babies are, man. My yeah. little brother. Grew up being like a one-year-old and a two-year-old around me and my brother, uh, brother playing GameCube. And it's so weird right now because he was a baby when the GameCube and Wind Waker was out. Now he's 18 years old. Like that's, wow. that's weird to me. Yeah. Like just yesterday, the kid was chewing chewing my GameCube controller joystick off and everything. Now he's like grown and shit. It's fucking weird, man. It makes me feel old, actually. <laughs> Yeah. It's insane that Smash Brothers Melee and Wind Waker have been out for that long. It's almost two decades. Yeah. You never played GameCube, did you, Equinox? Nah, I bought it like way later. And I, I, re it I regret cool. it. I just didn't get into it. Yeah. I could understand it, but I don't know, man. Like, I thought every game. That console back then was cool. When the Wii came out, I didn't care for that at all. I thought that was for like little kids and stuff. <laughs> then the Chuck thing didn't appeal to me at all. Yeah. Just couldn't get into it. Yeah. I just heard the only reason to have that was to play Smash Brothers. That was it. Oh yeah. Then I heard that you could download ROMs on it and stuff, and I was like, yeah, that's cool, but yeah, it's still pay sucks. like five bucks though. Yeah, like why even? They're just fucking giving money away. They're just trying to get get your wallet. In them. <laughs> yeah, we're just playing their games and stuff. Is there any games that you play that you kind of like are embarrassed to play? Shit, let me think. That's a good question. Um... Yeah, I heard somebody ask somebody else that once. Or they asked it on Twitter and I answered and I thought it was a good question. I was yeah, like, wow. Yeah. Okay, the, okay, I could think of a game. Um, Disney Adventures, uh, no, Disney, yeah. um, fucking, uh, I think it's called I mean, Disney Adventures. That's not Adventure. that bad. I think that's what it is. I've seen that It's game. actually, yeah, it's what really is that, good. The Genesis? Is nah, Genesis nah, or Super Nintendo. Nintendo. Yeah, I used to play it at my Super? cousin's house. Nah, 8-bit. Oh, regular Nintendo. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think I've still seen it, though. Yeah, I, I've heard those Oh, games Disney's right. Adventures of Magic Kingdom? Mag yeah, Magic Kingdom, yeah. Yeah, I have it right here on my screen. Okay. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. It's made by Capcom. Harvest Moon. I just right here too. That yeah, game, yeah. that game that you said's not that bad. Dude. Like I've sure. seen it. It's just like a platforming game, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's a but they hit, no, they yeah. have six different mini games, and and yeah. yeah but that's cool. Yeah. They, they, yeah. It, it was a good game, but I mean, it's Disney. Yeah. True. Yeah, mine would probably be Har Harvest Moon Back to Nature. Or just any of the Harvest Moon games, because I know I would play those. Super Paper that, Mario. Oh, I want to play that shit. That and um, Rugrats in the Toy Story game for PS1. Like yeah. both. And, and Small yeah. Soldiers. Small Soldiers. There's so many unknown PS1 games that are actually so good. Man. You know, another game that's really gay is... Um, I loved 
Final Fantasy X, right? I mean, that was just so was good, good, right? But then they came yeah. up with Final Fantasy X too, and it was like all girls on it, and it just looks so gay. I was so embarrassed buying that. <laughs> I actually yeah, bought I, I bought another game that. with it, and I put the game on top of it. And I was just like looking around, like hope nobody see. I was like real self conscious about buying that shit. <laughs> I don't blame you. Because like <laughs> if like you look at the cover, arts, dude. Yeah, that's like a Disney game with Final Fantasy characters mixed in with it. Yeah, and it had these. I'm the sure you've heard about it. Yeah, 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 what is it? Yeah, 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 Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's really gay. Yeah. Yeah, see, like, my brother <laughs> played that once, and I was like, dude, I couldn't get into it. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't care do? how good that game is. Like, people say it's really good and all that. But it's yo, trash. Nah, I'm not playing That's that. Yo, I never played it. I don't want to play it. <laughs> like, I would live in the Harvest Moon game before I would even touch that yeah. game. Like, fuck that. Dude, I've been watching shit on Twitch a little bit here and there, and I found this one game. It was like a new age, like hunting game, and it looks so realistic, dude. Like it looked cool as fuck. Like I would probably play it. Yeah. Like, I'm usually I'm usually not into those hunting games, but dude, I would play this one. Does it have like, like yeah. a gun with it? Oh yeah. Oh. Well, no, I don't. No, 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 it doesn't. But like, this guy was using like mouse. Keyboard or something, but dude, it just looks so good. The graphics, like, were so awesome. It looked like you were really there, and it was just so detailed. That was the cool thing about it, just the detail in the game. And you, you hunt, and you like to shoot shit from super far distance, and like, you either hit it or you don't, or whatever. But I don't know, man. You get machine cool. guns and shit. Well, it was like a high-powered rifle. Or yeah, <laughs> the bow. You get a bow. Sure. I think they oh, have. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure you could use that. Yeah. They have um, games where I think you, they actually have like a bow, uh, you know, accessory that you play yeah. with it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that would. Be hunting games, cool. yeah, because they they had a really successful hunting franchise out there. I forget what it's called, like you know, Hunter or something. And they were deer really Hunter. They yeah, deer, deer Hunter. hunter. Yeah, deer hunter like series. That. Yeah, that was. Yeah. It was almost like. It was like a, a, they had that on like PS2 and stuff. Yeah, you know? everything, man. And they they yeah. branched out into like you know multiple other you know Hunter this Hunter that like you know it was like Sim City, si yeah. Sim, Sim Ant, Sim Tower, Sim Earth, Sim everything. They they had that they started making a franchise for like everything. Yeah. Yeah. Is is that? But you're saying that's not it though. It's a different franchise. Well, I mean, this guy was streaming. He, he didn't have like his, even like his face camera on it. I've seen like his yeah. gun pointing around and stuff oh. i don't even know what it was called but i just seen him on some like recommended video or something i just clicked on it yeah, but it looked cool man whatever the hell it was i was like man i would play this shit even if i was just using mouse and keyboard i would fuck around with this if i was like bored for five to ten minutes or something kyle would play it for no longer than that I think the Wii games, I, when I was growing up, I played the Wii, I played the... Uh, oh, I know you played Wii. You played all that shit. Yeah, I played uh, Super Mario Galaxy and shit. That shit sucks, man. That's trash. Is it good, the though? Fucking... Mario Galaxy? The fuck yeah, the that? graphics are fucking... They're all amazing. Is oh, it yeah. like Mario 64? Yeah, but like Mario Sunshine or some other weird nah, shit. Nah, the graphics are better. You played like, like Luigi's Mansion and stuff like that. That game sucks, dude. Nah, that game is good. Yeah, I don't so know. Good. That game sucks, dude. Who one does Mario, Mario Galaxy? It does. Yeah, Wait, that probably does Mario too. Gal well, there's two I never ones. played Mario Galaxy, but I'm I sure haven't it played sucks. it either, but it has to be good, though. It is. Luigi's Mansion, a lot of people like it, but I just think it's trash. I tried to play it for five minutes and I was bored, man. What the fuck am I doing with this little flashlight? It's gay. Because he didn't know what to do with us, though. Yeah. That's that stupid. Yeah, I don't, I don't really have ah. interest in playing that. But if the other one, if Mario Galaxy is like Mario 64, I want to play it. Yeah. You can always just look it up and shit, watch the, watch the like, gameplay. I did. Okay. Yeah, I did. It looks, yeah, it kind of looks like it. You it jump from, good. except you jump from planet to planet, right? Oh, yeah. It's like, it's, it's like in Mario 64, you jump in the paintings. But in, in, uh, okay. in Galaxy, you jump on the planets. Yeah, that's cool. And yo, know, Mario sixty four is just so addicting. I played through that recently on 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 um uh the two DS. I've actually bought a two DS. 
And then I found what? out that Mario 64 is actually just a DS game. So you don't even need 2DS for it. And yeah. I, I played through a whole thing. I got all 150 stars. I couldn't stop getting the stars. What the fuck? I never even beat the yeah, game. Yeah, man. I never even beat the game. What other Mario 64? I'm just thinking about. Metroid yeah, Prime, dude, Android is pretty good, too. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Metroid Prime for the GameCube is actually a really good game. Oh, the same. I just, I just started playing it, like, the other night on that Demu emulator. Yeah. Because it works pretty ball, decent. And, yeah, you know it was, not, wasn't bad. Like what? If you play the um, Smash Brawl shit for the Wii, it's like a, it's Smash. I've seen it, yeah, I've seen it. I grew up with Brawl a buddy. Shit, you get like specials and shit, this is fucking awesome. Yeah, it's, I don't like that Sick. shit. I just, I just like Melee, man, and 64 I, Smash. I don't like that other no, Project M just, and all Brawl. Brawl I don't like that. Awesome. Uh, they got Link. It's trash. Yeah. It's just trash. Nah, man. Brawl is trash. No, it's not. They're, all, they're all trash, dude. They're all you're trash. Playing, except for Melee. All, all online and shit? Melee and 64 Smash are the best. That's it. Nah, Brawl is good too because they have the adventure. Brawl, it's pretty when, they put, when they put Solid Snake in the. In, fuck yeah, yeah, they got Snake in there. Yeah, yeah. That's trash. It's dumb to me. I don't think that's. They good. got him, they got Wolf from uh, Fox. I don't, think, I don't think Snake fits in there. I just don't. I don't yeah, know, does, it's just yeah they got Sonic in there. Why do they have Sonic in there? That doesn't make sense either. He's not like an original Nintendo character. They got Gettendorf. Yeah, I know, man. They've had they Gettendorf. They got in there. They got Toon Link in there. Yeah, that's kind of cool. They got like the Pokemon trainer, like with Bulbasaur, Bivisaur, and Charmander. They start adding this new generation Pokemon in there too, though. No, 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 no. it's the original one. They the original do. three. No, they don't. Like, like you know how you can get the Pokeballs though? Oh yeah, yeah, but new yeah, gen. Like, they don't do new gens. Yes, they do, man. When you release the Pokeball, yeah, new Depends new Pokemon pop out. Depends what it is. Yeah, I know. But you're saying like, oh, they're not in the game at all, which is a total lie. They are. In. They are. Dude. Whatever. They got Peach. Yeah, who cares, man? She's in melee. Warrior. Wario? Mm-hmm. Wario, yeah, whatever. Wario? What the fuck? They got, um, the, the girl Samus. Yeah, Samus in, like, her other uniform or whatever, like, uh, uh, Olimar from, uh... I don't know what the hell that trash is. What is you know what? You know what they should have had? Is Rayman. Rayman should have been a character in that game. You don't even know who Rayman is, I bet. Uh, is it, is, isn't it, like, a, a fighting guy? No, Rayman's not a fighting guy. Look up Rayman right now. Sure you should oh, that red, that red guy, red. that red character. No, he's not red at all. He's got no arms and no legs. Oh. He's really cool, man. Rayman 2, The Great Escape, in my opinion, is one of the coolest 64 PS1 games ever. The Great Escape. PS1, PS2, Dreamcast. PS1. PS2. Uh, Rayman 2, The Great Escape was not. I don't remember that being on PS2 ever. PS2, Rayman 2 Revolution. I don't know what that is. I just played Rayman 2, The Great Escape. They have it for, they have it for DS? Holy uh, shit. But The Great Escape? Uh, no, nah, just regular Rayman DS. I don't know what that is. I wouldn't trust that. I'm just saying, man. If you ever play The Great sick. Escape, Rayman 2 The Great Escape is a 64 game. You should get it, Antonio. It's so good. I never even played it. Oh, man. It's so fun, dude. Like, you could fucking, like, float in the air and stuff. He's, he uses, like, his ears or something as, like, helicopter fucking shit. What the fuck? What and that? you can, like, jump across shit, man. And you, you shoot out these orbs with your hand and shit. You bounce them off walls to hit targets and stuff. Open up doors and shit. It's a really cool, like, platforming game. You ever played it, Equinox? What Probably it? not. Rayman 2, Great Escape? Nah. Damn, man. Yeah, it's pretty fun. What about Clay Fighters, man? Did you like oh, Clay yeah, Fighters? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We should play that sometime. I haven't played that since I was, like, eight. So. Yeah. Played for a while. Okay, I'll put that one. What is it, like a bunch of clays just like fighting and well, shit? Well, it's just, yeah. It's, yeah, it's like, like a parody animation. fighting game. It's like like a Mortal Kombat, like there's clayalities or something. 
Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's, oh, it's, 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 no, it's like Street Fighter. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, no, it, but it's like a parody of of fighting games with like these clay characters. Yeah, car okay, yeah, I'm watching. Oh, they got a snowman. What yeah, Mr. Frosty, he was like the, the oh Frost, the main character. Oh. What else is there? Uh, statue, pumpkin, uh, a dog, I guess. Yeah. Oh, no. Santa. And there was like a blob. Uh, I remember Mr. Frosty the the best though. Yeah, he was like the yeah. main character. Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember I rented that on my birthday, like when I was like ten or something, and we just had a lot of fun with it. Well, I remember one time my older brother was grounded for video games, and I'm <laughs> like, my mom allowed him to play that. And we were all playing it somewhere at our cousin's house, and we we're like, can he play? Spike McFang, well, Super Nintendo, Rex Ronin, well, Marvelous, they have Boogerman, well, What would you say is the best retro multiplayer game ever? Shit, probably retro retro game console or PC or anything. No, I didn't I didn't didn't say virtual, Antonio. I said retro. Yeah, retro. Yeah. Okay, I thought you said virtual. I was like, no, I didn't. Say no, virtual. I didn't say virtual. No, I didn't say. Okay. That. Yeah. What would what would you say, Equinox? Any any um any platform. All right, let's do it like this. Or just console. Each you can't. You gotta just name the console, I guess. Like, well, I mean, because console. Yeah, just I don't know. Wait. I think of Ever, all time, yeah. it would be Doom. You know, if you if you include PC, because Doom was just so playable, and you know, multiplayer still holds up even today. Because GoldenEye is a little dated, but Go GoldenEye is still like that's definitely the best multiplayer on N64. Wait, what are you talking guard. about? Like. In your opinion, or just like that, yeah, yeah. I mean, like if you wanted to look at it from like a person general stand, without like like an unbiased prediction or whatever, you'd kind of have to say Doom because when you look at Doom, it's still got that huge fan base, and there's people still all over it. And, and shit. it's just so playable though, so pick up and play it. Yeah, man. man. Like they fucking made so many wads for that game. Like you don't see that on Duke. Like nobody fucks with Duke like that. Yeah. Like you could, you could just play Duke online. And that's it, you know? Like, yeah. you got H Duke and E Duke and that stuff like that, but there's just that, you know? There's nothing else. Like, there's no modified Duke online. Yeah. At least on that engine or whatever. But yeah, you go on Doom, you see Mega Man Doom, you see GoldenEye Doom, you see Chex Quest. Fucking, you could play as the Star, fucking Star Wars Dark Forcers guy or whatever the fuck. So. I mean, they've just done everything. That is good shit. You ever see Glen Gary, Glen Ross? No. That's is that the name of it? Yeah, I, I haven't seen it yet. That's another movie that I've been looking to see because... Is that a Western? Nah, it was a movie in the early 90s, I think. And it had, you know, like... Like, you know, Robert De Niro. It was one of those movies that had, like, every all these famous people in it. And I never even heard of it. I think it was, like, a, like a crime drama. Dude. Have you ever seen Deer Hunter? Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that. That is a good one, man. Actually, I don't, I don't oh. think I ever saw the thing, the whole thing from beginning to end. Really, that sucks. What else? There's another good one somewhere. I think of them. Right now, I think that's all I know, man. Those are all my favorite ones. Oh, you said you didn't really know anything about Jesse James or something earlier, didn't you? Yeah. Dude, there's a really good Brad Pitt movie where he plays as Jesse James. And it is actually damn good, man. And really? not a lot of people know about it because, you know, it's Brad Pitt. He's got all these other crazy huge movies out. Yeah, man. He was... They didn't yeah. pay attention to this movie, but, dude, this movie was really good. Oh, do you know the title? Jesse. 
It's the outlaw Jesse James, Brad Pitt. Just type that in when you okay. look it up. But that's a fucking good movie, man. I used to have it. Something happened to it and it got fucked up. You know it's another good movie that, that Brad Pitt was in that I think nobody really knows about? It was about an Irish immigrant. It was a terrorist or something like that, and he came over here, and then like, like, it was called The Devil's Own, and I thought it was a pretty good movie. And it's probably a, yeah, I never seen that. He's an Irish immigrant. Eh? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, and he like, he yeah, he like ends up working. He he stays with like a family here, um, like one of those families that that like you know they take in an immigrant or something like that. It, but at the same time, so he's with this nice family, but then at the same time, he's out, out fighting, like, American, like, organized crime. Like, all these crime figures. Or, or maybe, I think he's fighting the Irish mob or something crazy. Wait, he's he's against the Irish mob? or is he not, not the Irish mob, but, like, you know, the, there's, like, a, you know, there's a lot of, like, terrorist organizations in, in Ireland. You, oh, in Ireland or yeah. New York? No, uh, they're, well, they're, they're, they're from Ireland, and, yeah, they're stationed over here at the, you know, okay. back in the day, in the 80s, I think, or something. Like, and, and. Yeah, it, it kind of like revolves around that. It's been so, it's been like way over, you know, ten or fifteen years since I seen it. But I just remember it was like really good, like for a movie that like I never it, even isn't heard that, of. Isn't that isn't that the movie that has the where they have those illegal guns and all that, and they yeah. transport to some to some country or some shit called Dublin or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. Think, yeah, something yeah. like that. And um. Yeah. It, because yeah, his, and then like he's compelled to stop them and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, he, he's yeah he yeah, wants yeah, to yeah. stop them because they killed his parents when he was little, and that's what they right. did back then. Like it's true, like yeah. they, 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 it's, the devil's own, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. yeah, they didn't give a fuck back then, man. Hell no. Nah. But it's even you know in, in all those third world countries like El Salvador, like some of the guys that I work with, they grew up hiding in the woods for because people you know the, those guerrilla armies would come into the villages and they'd be like, give us your kids or we'll kill you. So the, yeah. all these kids, Real warfare, man. yeah, dude, it's crazy. But it, but it was like that in Ireland too, back then. Oh yeah, you think yeah. like Ireland, you know, isn't dude? The British fucking controlled the shit out of Ireland. Dude. Yeah, and they're still and fighting there over there against the banks. Starvation. Yeah, yeah, dude, there's people dying of like starvation and plague and shit in Ireland, like a like two hundred years ago, man. And there's like, like a lot of bombings bad. and things over there. Yeah, people there's blowing a, up the banks. Yeah, there's. Man, that place is not as easy as other people think it was, man. That's for sure. Oh, man. Mm. Yeah, that's why the uh, Irish were coming over here. That's for sure, man. That's probably where, like, all of our ancestors came. Yeah. Like, I know mine did. <laughs> my I dad's already told me and shit. Yeah, I think my dad, yeah, my dad's uh, ancestors came from, yeah, like, a lower class. Yeah, they just you know, came over here on like a boat or something, floated over here. They somehow. spread out, man. They go just wherever, you know? Yeah. What happened to end up in Kentucky? I know a lot of people that live in Kentucky, man, like some of those hillbillies, they got a lot of ties to people in Chicago. It's really weird. There was a rumor, or not, not, not even a rumor, but like a police, there was like a thing in the, in the newspaper like in the 70s or something. In this small town where I grew up, in Harlan, and uh, apparently like the mob had came up in Harlan, man, and like had a like some kind of deal with somebody, and then, like a bunch of people got killed or something like that. Like it was random as fuck. But it just shows you like, wow, man, the mob can pretty much get anywhere the fuck they want. You know? Yeah. They're a crazy bunch. Yeah, especially like Mexico, all these places, the government is just like so involved with, you know, the mob that. Yeah, they fund them. It's just a losing battle. Damn. Mm. Work there, dude. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, I got the tickets. I'm going to the Guar concert. Here we go. Well. I did this in like 20 minutes, pretty much. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. So this game is full of these little these things, instant death bullshit. So. Thank yeah. God for free states. They got that in the arcade, I think. Nah, not this one. This one's like a point-and-click adventure. Okay. Fuck.
first there, dude. All right. Yeah, man, on that Jeremiah Johnson movie, that yeah. when that guy finds that kid, him and that kid start traveling together, and they find that one other white guy, dude, and the Indians had buried his whole body and left his head, like, uncovered and shit, dude. Oh, shit. And it's funny as fuck. Yeah. The guy looks fucking insane, dude. Fucking off the boat, Antonio immigrants. Why is he even in this call? He's not even fucking good. Antonio's here? Yeah, he's just oh. playing some game on his computer or on his 360 or something. Just left him though. Just left him. <laughs> Get my costumes before I can go back on stage. Where are the costumes? Oh, right here. All right. Hell yeah. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah. It's puppet music. Looks like sick killer. Oh, hot as fuck right now. Just took one hit. I gotta find some new pants, man. I'll be right back. <laughs> 